Our experience with triticale has evolved probably from a, a barley oat mix uh, and seeding that and, and swathing it and trying to fence it. And then we moved more to a straight barley, but uh, we weren't happy with the way the cows would eat it. Our cows would tend to eat more of the heads and not clean up the straw. And then of course the d deterioration of barley and oats in the fall from rain and, and snow melt and, and stuff like that. The mold was a, a significantly more. Uh, which I think probably did not enhance the palatability, so therefore the cows sorted more and they didn't do as well because of the nutritional influxes of uh, higher grain amounts that they were getting. They would almost get sick by eating too much grain. And so triticale was uh, brought to our attention and um, really there's no view of, of changing that. We're just going to keep going and trying to make it better. If I'm worried about acidosis and the cob, it's so ripe, that means my traditional 240, 250 cow days have gone probably, the capacity's gone to 400 cow days per acre, which is phenomenal. That means I'll be grazing cows for 40, 50 cents a day in that kind of a crop. So if that means that I would have to take a few bales of hay out and fill those cows up prior to turning in a paddock, so be it because the production is so much higher but you must do that and you cannot let them get hungry and then turn them in one of those packs you will get staggery cows and glass-eyed cows and it it can happen and that's where you'll have a little bit of foot problems if you overload but if you spend a little with the big crop you spend a little extra time and feed before you go in generally no problem at all